hello 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 welcome back guys to my youtube channel if you're seeing this screen then you know which video we're gonna continue yes today we're gonna start our application video it will be technically three parts because it's too much of things to i have to cover so that's the reason i'm making or dividing it to three parts but in the previous video we got to know that the requirement analysis while doing the requirement analysis, we got to know that for information technology in University of Stuttgart, application is already open and it's going to end in July 15th. So before July 15th, I will be finishing all three videos. People who want to apply for summer semester 2026, please watch this video and apply for this particular college and this particular course if you also apply for electrical engineering then please check out our winter semester application procedure it will be the same then you can also apply for summer semester i know application is open way faster th compared to any of the other colleges but please bear in mind you are applying for summer semester 2026 not winter semester then uh, before we start uh, if you're new to this channel then please don't forget to click like share and subscribe and also please share this video with the people who are in need so that they can also look into a requirement analysis at first understand a requirement analysis check for the same particular college application procedure gather all documents submit when they will submit the application by looking at how we submit it then they can also get in any of the colleges then start their dream studies in dream college after this if you still need one-on-one -on -one session with me if you need one-on-one -on -one session uh, if you need me to apply for you then you can already check out our youtube membership things then based on your youtube membership then you will get so many youtube membership benefits so these are the things i just wanted to mention you guys as an intro then we can get started so this is the page which we covered last time where we go through detailed uh, dad web uh, requirement analysis today we will directly jump into university of stuttgart's uh, official website so once you are in the university of stuttgart official website you can either translate the page or you can directly choose the english language here so once you choose the english language here you can directly go to study study programs so this will give a list of all study programs that are available in university of stuttgart but we are interested in engineering beginning of winter and summer both and degree would be masters so these are the things and teaching language you can either select it to uh, technical degree or teaching degree and other things but we will select the language to complete english so these are the five courses that are offered in complete english in uh, university of stuttgart so we have already done electrical engineering application video and also requirement analysis video for the previous winter semester today we are doing information technology so in future people who want to apply for computer science computational linguistic or just geometrics for environmental monitoring then please uh, make sure you comment in this video then i will check for those videos also and i will make for you Today, our focus will be information technology, which is infotech. Standard period would be winter and summer both, and it is four semester teaching language English. We already know it by detailed application or requirement analysis, which we did for that website. Here, the main thing I just wanted to mention, or everybody has to see, is they have a four specialization. It will cover uh, communication engineering, media technology, embedded systems, computer hardware and software engineering, and intelligent methods of test and reliability. These are the four specialization you can choose whichever you want what are the things that we have to go here the main thing would be admission requirement we already saw it and the language requirement you need to have c1 but we will go into their particular infotech website where they will mention specific requirements about that particular a course then please apply for this three program nine months in advance so that it they will give an ample amount of depth or you will get ample amount of time you know to apply for student visa then you will get student visa in particular or correct time that's the reason they do like this winter semester application from uh, december 1st to january 15th this is for winter semester then summer semester would be from may 15th to july 15th so this is the deadline for uh, winter semester and summer semester then you can already see here the entrance application procedure will be in campus website it is free of cost you can directly apply here and the winter semester begins in october 1st and summer semester begins in april 1st this is normal but the only application is opening so so early an adjacent form has to be filled before while you are applying so this is nothing but a contact form or a form where you have to fill in some information generate it as a pdf then you have to upload in the campus portal while you are applying so you can also go into it and check for this information but we will this uh, we will fill this in second part or third parts when we are applying so no need to worry i will show you how to fill it but this is the campus portal where we have to apply so keep that in mind then uh, the main thing i wanted to mention you guys is the academic background and performance during the bachelor degree for main selection criteria note the application requirements for this particular infotech specifically then we can go into that application requirements for 
infotech specifically here at first the bachelor degree and uh, study duration it would be they are considering it as a bachelor of science degree or similar like btech be bsc bca but not ba they are not accepting ba and master degree is also not considered or it is not qualified for this particular application then you need to have minimum of three years or maximum of four years depending on if you have done bsc uh, bca or if you have done bachelor degree then it will be four years that's the reason they require three to four years of degree they will give an admission for application with european including german as a first level then this is the information you can go through but we were outsiders that's the reason we did it uh, bachelor degree for study duration then awarding institution higher education institution so this is the thing which is now as a generalized in all university now people who are applying from higher education institute abroad then they have to go through the anabin website or anabin database where they have to check for their college or the university that where they did your bachelor bca bba where whichever you have up, uh, done that has to have a status of h plus university okay in anabin website you have to go search for the anabin website database don't search for your college please search for your university because your college is affiliated to some university please search that university then that university has to has a status of h plus otherwise you will get direct rejection because if you don't have your college or your university of h plus then it is uh, not considered at all even though if you have 10 cgp you need to have h plus then only your application would be considered this can also be again done it with the aps certificate aps is nothing but the same thing where it they will validate and tell you yes your university is h plus if you get h minus and h plus or minus then your application will be rejected this is the main thing you have to check in the anabin website here is the link you can also directly can go into anabin website and directly check it and this is the anabin website where you you can use it for your checking your university this is completely free before applying for aps check here if your university is h plus then only apply so that you will get the positive result here itself your university is h plus or minus or h minus then please don't waste your money on aps certificate then you can't study in uh, germany then study field you, if you are considering uh, infotech then you need to have done a computer science degree computer engineering electrical engineering and closely related field this also we saw it then the gpa requirements so this yesterday we got or in uh, that website we only had a percentage wise of 70 percent you need to have for 100 percent but here they have given all types of uh, different types of grading system if your grading system is 4 you need to have 2.8 and if your grading system is 5 minimum is 3.5 if your grading system is 20 then minimum is 14 if your grading system is 10 which is us 10 cgpa then the minimum uh, grading is 7 they are asking so you need to have at least 7 and above then only they will consider but that doesn't mean that you will get admission whoever has 7 plus then english profi proficiency you need to have a, a, a cambridge c1 and c2 so you need to have il7 and above so please make sure you are applying for uh, if you are applying only if you have IELTS 6 point uh, uh, IELTS 7 and above if you are having IELTS 6 or 6.5 then you will get a rejection and also you cannot apply with medium of instruction so it will be not accepted so people who have done their IELTS within the two years because your IELTS is only valid for two years so in that two years if you have your IELTS which is C1 on C2 above 7 then only apply people who come from these nationals then they don't need to submit their IELTS certificate or uh, uh, English language proficiency they can directly submit their uh, passport or their identity card that's enough then uh, people who come from china mongolia vietnam india including uh, they have to submit the ap certificate then ap certificate has to be submitted before the application deadline itself while applying only they have to up, uh, upload the aps so this is different to some of the university because some university give the admission at the time of your visa procedure they will tell you to submit the ap certificate directly to visa authorities but here in university of stuttgart they are saying the ap certificate have to be submitted before the application deadline so you you have to upload the APS document while you are applying only that's the one thing then application for MSc information technology you have to apply via campus and these are the things that you can see they have also a manual which is already there here in this application manual you will get to know how to apply uh, the step-by-step -step guide which I am doing it will be the same but I will show you how to apply without going through this manual because you can run this video 
parallelly and you can also apply but if you want if you don't want to watch my video if you feel like yeah don't want to believe me then you can also go through this pdf which has an application manual then you will get complete information what i'm doing uh, how to apply also so yeah then we directly click into campus website and this is the campus website portal where you have to register and apply at first Appl uh, applicants who are not studying or employed at university stuttgart can register here for the following links you can click on register and apply and fill in this many master data and other things then you can uh, register so i will take a moment and fill it so in the registration form it's just normal you have to just fill your first name last name mail uh, gender uh, and then the date of birth then you have to fill in your email address i guess i cannot do or submit the uh, the registration form because it will throw an error because they are uh, we have already created a uh, account with this particular email because for winter semester then you can click on continue then they would say uh, we have checked the information then you can click on submit then thank you for your registration i email has sent to our email address then we will have a uh, activating uh, system so we can wait for this email then we will also go through the uh, signing process after submitting the registration form there then we already got a mail here so this is the registration from campus portal it's a confirmation so either you can directly check for your details which you have filled then this is the information as i told you so it cannot be activating automatically because we have already done it so here you can just see if you have already applicants or basic uh, account in campus and you have forgotten your uh, password then please contact uh, support then you can uh, get it a new thing so i remember that we have already created an account so i will try to find it and log in as of now but if you fill in um, if you fill in properly and you will get a proper registration uh, email see i found the previous uh, account activation email which i got for winter semester when we are applying so when you have applying for the first time or register for the first time with your email address you will get this link to confirm then you can click on this link and you can already log in so now i got to know that yes we have already created an account and we have forgotten so we will directly use that uh, registration thingy and we will log in so you can click on login so once you clicked on login you have to give your username and password i will try to give my username and password now uh, after looking for mails and i recovered my account so we got to know our user id and gym uh, password when we used it for last application in winter semester that's the reason i got it now we will directly log in so people who have uh, using the their email address for the first time then i showed you the email how the, you will get it then you have to click on that link then you will have a user id or username then you have to choose a password then like with that you can log in how i logged in so it's straightforward then you can click on my application here in the my application you can just see the master of science electrical engineering which we did it for last time is already there then you can click on enter new application so the, here we will continue our infotech application for the next time so see you in second part of the video until then uh, watch this first part understand the requirements check for all requirement documents get ready with all documents so that we can apply because you are applying for some semester 2026 which gonna start in april 2026 you're applying now and the application deadline is gonna finish in july 15 so you have very less time so please make sure you uh, get ready with all documents so that you can finish the application beforehand then see you in second video until then take care bye, -bye.